Greetings, friends. Just a short one to pop in and say hi. Haven't forgotten you. Been busy though. <laughs> the leaves. Wouldn't believe it. Today's a beautiful day. And we've been working hard outside. However, I want to take a moment to introduce you to the uh, bag that I use for a, a uh, bug out bag, as in get out of town. Okay, uh, it's sitting on the table here with me. I want to show it to you. Excuse me. Hmm. Itchy. Oh, maybe you have to bleep that. Okay. So I'm going to turn this around and at the same time I'll be out of the picture. Okay, so there it is. Now, as you can see, it's not that huge. It's um, a well made. I bought it from Urban Tactical. It's a 511. Now, it does not have a lot of room. There's room here to put a belt on it, but uh, did not come with one. Okay, so this is the bag that I set up a year and a half or so ago. And um, as you can also see, it's packed. We want to get rid of that, some of that. Okay, so the idea is that I'm going to show you what is inside the bag right now and I'm going to do that in the house I've already recorded that part but I just want to do this little introduction and uh, I'm looking forward to your suggestions on what's in it that I don't need and what should be in it that's not there so I look forward to hearing from you and if you would be so kind I'd appreciate it and let's see if we can't do something here that's going to work out well for us okay so that's it for my introduction. Well, good day, folks. Welcome to Ted's place. I'm cheating and I'm using the bedroom and the bed to spread things out. I want to show you what I've had packed in my tactical uh, bug out bag for the last year. Now, it is too heavy. That I know already. And I need to pare it down, reduce the weight, and without a doubt, fix things up a little bit. So. so with this video, I'm going to run through quickly what's in here, and I ask that you consider, please, commenting me. Um, and if you have detailed suggestions, I appreciate them as well. Now, I'm going to be moving back and forth because um, the camera doesn't have a mind of its own, and it won't follow me, and I don't have an assistant. Okay, let's start with, yeah, okay, I can see the first, first half is on the viewer find. Okay. Here, and I keep this on the outside of the pack. Now it's a, um, they call it a stream light. It takes two AA batteries and I keep the mo keep it loose unless I'm going to use it. Okay. Inside one of the top pockets, we'll start with magnesium with ferrocerium rods, uh, uh, fire ignition. A UST fire starter kit point one point oh and it is basically an ignition source plus wet fires also right handy toilet tissue then we go over to yep you can hear it butane lighter protected so that in the end it's refillable too okay um, I'm a diabetic, so I carry Dex4 um, tablets, which are du and Ducrose. I'm going to get it right here. Glucose, fast-acting glucose tablets. Okay. Towel. And, yeah, I uh, managed to get it goofed up so it's unwrapped. I'll have to fix that. Okay. Then we go to Gorilla Tape. And, as you can see, a fair thickness in the roll. Matches the windproof, rainproof, snowproof. Okay, there's better than a dozen in there with an additional, actually, two extra strikers in there. And the striker on the outside, and as you can see, it has been used just to make sure I was getting it right. 
Okay, um, I'm going to call that a balaclava, real light. Uh, keep your throat, neck warm. Light my fire tinder sticks, I call them. Fat wood. Gloves, work, work gloves. Never seen any work yet. A mask, safety glasses. Here we have um, 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 Prestine water purification tablets. One tablet treats one liter. A poncho, right here. Now, that's a two liter water bottle, plastic water bottle. A Puma fixed blade knife, full shank. Okay, then we come to the bug out bags, a personal first aid kit. And um, it came as part of a bug out kit we bought years ago. And yeah, it's even got a flusher in here. Everything's in a big ziplock. And uh, keeps it clean and dry. And every so often I'll check it out. Then I have a light my fire spork. A knife, fork, and spoon set. We come over to a spare pair of eyeglasses. I'm diabetic, and they recommend diabetics have spare glasses. So I put them in the one place that I felt that if, if desperate things happened, that would be it. Okay, frog tugs. Okay, a complete rain suit. I don't know how long they would last. Um, and I forget the construction exactly. They have two packages of, of the proper name. Original smoked sausage. Okay, we have creamy beef and, and noodles and the peach crumble. And I know that doesn't sound like a good survival thing. But I might, I'll have to change some things around here. Okay, okay. I was afraid of that. Okay. So we will start back at the back again with tarp, escape bivy, tar uh, sport utility blanket, the orange and sil silver, and 200 feet of paraport. A scarf. This is a, a prop, the proper name for it is, is escaping me. Um, it's like a big handkerchief, um, orange, and it's got all kinds of hints printed on it for survival. Orange t-shirt to add visibility. Then we come to the MSR Seagull 750 milliliter pot. And I like it the best because it's got the latch that holds it closed. Then we have my, my um, Lexata. Uh, imitation of an American made stove. There, take that thing back out so you can see it. Okay, now it comes with also with this grate. And I made this just to reduce any possibilities of starting something on fire. Okay, these are ladies' makeup uh, swabs with their wax impregnated. It's more of the same. Um, matches, the windproof, rainproof matches, and these are just straight strike anywhere matches. The case for the stove, okay, and the stove fits perfectly in the pot. Now, let's bring this around, and I think that this thing has got to be at least five pounds. Okay, I'm going to put it right on top. Okay, so we have this compartment, whoops, and I forgot something. And there you go, forgetfulness. Okay, this is a Camelon, made in Korea. They call it a Speed Cut Pro. It's not bad, but it's not um, necessarily the best, but it works. It cuts through the wood pretty good. The, the, thread, the, the teeth are a little coarse, so they, they're not too bad. Okay, so we got this compartment with pouches in here. And I just spotted, of course, another trash bag. There you go. 
You never know what we're going to miss. Okay? So that opens like just that far. A little bit more than half down. Then we open up this way. And away we go. Pouch, pouch, they're ventilated. Over here ventilated, this one is not. And this actually, as you can see, that's where the glasses go and reachable from the outside. I, I carry my glasses there. So I've got them. There's a pockets on both sides. Okay. And then, of course, oh, and I have a, a nest liner. Um, the zipper compartment here, there's a plastic stiffener in there for your back. And I have a bad back, so that's the problem, is, you know, getting it taken care of. Now, we have a good pad of shoulder straps. I do not have a waist belt. Um, that's something I can pick up. I wasn't sure. I find that the bag, like I said, it's five to seven pounds, I'm guessing, is heavy. And with that, it's a little bit cranky, isn't it? Okay, I'll put it there out of the way. Anyway, this is what I've been, I've got. I've had a pack for about a year. I know I need to change things a little bit. So I need your suggestions. Now, the criteria that I have is quite simple. 20 pounds maximum. Less the better. I have, a, I have three compression fractured vertebrae in my lower spine. And with that, you know that I'm going to have problems if I try and do a lot of things. Okay. Um, in addition, I have left out medications. Now, I have enough medications that... I mean, I could, uh, for my bug out bag that I have for emergency evacuation in case of fire or whatever, where we're not going into the bush, we're not going far away to, have to, to survive, we're going to a school gym, to a, a ice arena a room, you know, what, what, dressing rooms or waiting rooms or whatever. It's got a week's supply of meds. The way I looked at it was, if I have to survive out in the wilds, there's no sense of taking meds. I can't carry enough. I'm not allowed to, uh, one of my meds even to get enough to make it worthwhile. Therefore, um, it does reduce the, the survivability, doesn't it? For instance, um, long-term stuff may or may not be useful. I don't know. But and I'm sure there, there must be others out there who have the same kind of problem. We're not all young. I'm not. I'm... I'm uh, maturing um, um, I guess that's a good word for it old age starts at 90 and I haven't got there yet but anyway I'd like your thoughts on what I've got here in the bag what you think I could do to reduce weight and to make everything that I carry or put in the bag totally crucial um, and I haven't gone through the 5 C's and the 10 C's I haven't wrote them down that I could go through and check them off Okay, so that's my request from you. I need your advice, suggestions from you folks out there, realizing that I can't walk great distances. Um, I do have a walking cane or a stick, yeah, in the car. So I can drive with my Jeep to somewhere, but when I got to get out and hoof it, the distance is, is restricted quite a bit, okay? But I do think that a person needs to have a chance to survive and therefore make it do the best I can. Looking forward to hearing from you. Now, please, if you would, like, subscribe, make comments, share um, this uh, rendition. Sorry it's not done in a more outdoor such uh, atmosphere. Uh, just not a good day for that. Give me suggestions what to do as far as a rucksack too. That's a good rucksack. It's rugged. It's tough. But it's too heavy. It weighs a third, I'm sure, a third the weight of what I, I'm set for a maximum. So we need to cut that down. Look forward to hearing from you this uh, coming season. Archery season for, for hunters is in effect, I'm sure. 
I'm not sure if they started black powder hunting yet for deer. Uh, moose and elk and everything else. Rifle seasons will be coming on us soon. So therefore, be safe and take care out there in the, in the woodlot, in the bush. And all the best. Thanks so much. Ted's clear.